this is Cole, and you won't believe what happens in today's gospel. Jesus' disciples are arguing with each other. What could they possibly be fighting over? Well, let's find out. We'll begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, teach me to be humble. Teach me to be kind. Teach me to see the goodness in all people. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. In today's gospel, Jesus and his disciples are walking along a country road when Jesus hears them arguing with each other about which one of them is the greatest. Jesus was embarrassed by this fighting. All this time, he'd been teaching them to be peacemakers in the world, and here they can't even get along with each other. So Jesus explains that the greatest isn't the one who's biggest or most important, but the one who serves, who's helpful and obedient and a peacemaker. So let's see what's in the Bible bag and learn more about this. Well, first we have a ribbon and we also have a medal. Have you ever received one of these for doing a really good job at a sport or an activity? It feels great to be rewarded for being the best at something, but Jesus wants us to know that we're already great because we're a child of God. And when we're kind and helpful to those around us and we do the jobs that no one else wants to do and we obey our parents, that's when we're really great in God's eyes. So Jesus is, Jesus is teaching us a different way to think about being great, and in the story, he does so with a small child. Now in the ancient world, children didn't have many rights. They were supposed to be seen and not heard. And they were actually considered hardly better than slaves. But in today's gospel, Jesus puts his arm around a child and he says, be like this child who isn't big or important, but who is obedient. The message is that Jesus doesn't care about how smart or talented or important you are. He cares about how helpful you are. And he says the greatest of all are slaves because they serve other people or children who are humble and obedient. Now, do you know this big word, humility? It means to be humble, to be willing to put others first and yourself last. You might have even heard the saying, the first shall be last, which means not to put ourselves first or to brag or to be pushy, but to willingly put ourselves in last place and serve other people. Putting the needs of others first is how we practice humility. And who remembers this? It's called a peace sign. In today's gospel, Jesus is calling us to be peacemakers among our friends and neighbors by helping them and serving them and also to be peacemakers in our families by obeying our parents and being peaceful with our brothers and sisters. And here we have a picture that sums up our story today. Jesus comes along and he says, hey guys, how's it going? And what are you arguing about? The little dog down here realizes um, how silly they're being and he thinks to himself, oops, because this disciple over here says, I am the greatest, but the one next to him says, nice thought, but I clearly am the greatest. And then this one says, give me a break. You know that I'll be top dog in the kingdom. And then finally this disciple says, yes, Jesus loves you, but I'm his favorite. It's all pretty silly, isn't it? What Jesus is saying in today's gospel is whoever wants to be the greatest of all must be the servant of all. It's serving others that makes us great. And here Jesus is. Let's hear the story. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples went to his home in Capernaum. After they were inside the house, Jesus asked them, what were you arguing about along the way? They had been arguing about which one of them was the greatest, and so they didn't answer. After Jesus sat down and told the 12 disciples to gather around him, around him, he said, if you want the place of honor, you must become a slave and serve others. Then Jesus had a child stand near him. And he said, when you welcome even a child because of me, 
you welcome me. And when you welcome me, you welcome the one who sent me. This is the good news of the Lord. And that's our Bible story for today, where we learn that Jesus wants us to be humble and to serve others and to be peacemakers. So if Jesus were to come to your house tonight, would he hear you speaking gently and kindly to your brothers and sisters? Would he see you obeying your parents and doing what they asked? This week, can you do your very best to listen to your mom and dad? Can you look for ways to be helpful at home and at school? If you see someone having a bad day, can you reach out and be extra kind? When we serve others like this, we do God's work, and that's the true path to greatness. So let's end with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, teach me to be humble. Teach me to be kind. Teach me to see the goodness in all people. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So until next week, be loving, be kind, be helpful, be humble, and remember, Jesus loves you.